Hey everybody, it's Twiggy. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I have a semi-annual sale haul, as you guys can see. It's not as huge as like mine usually is. Um, honestly, it's because I didn't really find anything that I needed like direly bad like right away. So I just bought this stuff and um, I'm happy with my haul. So a little bit update. I'm still financially strapped. That's why I didn't also go crazy and go ham. Um, also, there just wasn't that much stuff I wanted. I bought a lot of the repackaged stuff that was presents that they previously had, renamed it, or just repackaged it um, into different packaging because I needed some extra ones for my collection. That's really it. Um, I did get some new um, other stuff that I will show you in the video, but... Um, as far as my mental status, because the last video I showed you guys, I was crying. It was not fun. Uh, I was upset with my friend dying. Still really sad about that. But I also was upset with the whole situation of work's been stressful. I'm not seeing my significant other. I'm also really, 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 really not looking forward to my dad's wedding. Um, it's not that my dad's getting married that's upsetting me because we kind of already figured as kids that he was going to do that because as soon as my mom died, he was dating like the month after my mom died. Actually, probably two weeks, not even a month after my mom died, he was already on dating websites trying to find women. So I don't know what that says about my dad, but doesn't make me too comfortable with it, but whatever. All I was asking of his significant other that he is allowed to see his kids without her there, um, because sometimes I just want to spend time with my dad. I don't want his tag along with. And yet, she can go and spend time with her daughter without my dad, but I can't have my dad visit with me. And I'm not going to, like, trash talk her or anything. I literally just want to spend time with my dad like I used to. That's it. Like, maybe go for a walk, hike, bring his dogs over, or go, like, hang out and take his dogs for a walk or something. Like, just fun crap that me and my dad used to do, like, just to shoot up the shit and, you know, relieve steam from our crappy jobs now that my dad's retired. Um... I can vent about my shitty job because sometimes my job stresses me out. It's not a shitty job. I do enjoy my job. It's just I miss my horse farm job. Um, I do like my job. It's just some days are better than others. And the customers lately have been testing my patience. <sighs> There's been a lot of me having to count to 10 and walking into a corner because if I don't, I'm going to like say something and it's going to get me in trouble. So I, I, I've been trying. Um, but yeah, so mentally I've been not okay, still depressed, um, not, you know, the S word. I'm not, I don't have any plans, I don't want to hurt myself, I'm just blue. Um, so I'm just under, like, you know, mentally under the weather, um, trying to cheer myself up, hence the little bit of Bath and Body Works. I spent way more than I thought I was going to, and I, knowing me, I basically spent... Yeah, I basically spend what I normally do during semi-annual sale, um, but a little bit more. Um, well, I spent less than I normally do total for my semi-annual sale, because normally I still go ham for, like, every week I go buy stuff. Um, this time I literally just went two stores, done. Um, but I, I'm probably going to order some wallflowers online because I have that coupon that I can use. Um, but I will wait until like next week and hope that wallflowers, maybe they have like a, some, once in a while they have like a, um, flash sale. So stuff goes super cheap. So if they like drop down to like $1.95, I will hoard them because I have a coupon for 20% off and I really want to use it. Um, that doesn't expire for like a year. So I figured I'd use it for some annual sales so I could get more stuff. But... I do appreciate all the kind comments and everyone that's reached out to me to check on me. Um, I do love you all. I wish I could buy more Bath and Body Works because um, it's one of my little joys. I have purchased some more books. I will have a haul on that because I ordered a bunch of stuff from Thrift Bookstore and Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> I'm done with Barnes and Nobles. I am so done. I'm never ordering from them again. I will buy from small bookstores if I can find the stuff where they can order me the books. Um, as far as Barnes and Nobles, that company can kiss my butt, I am done. Poor customer service, get really shitty uh, reps. They sent me the wrong pack, the packing slip, so I wouldn't have to pay money. I ended up having to pay money to ship stuff back to them. 
whole mess. Don't really want to talk about it. I am taking care of myself, though. I had, like, a little, like, breakfast airing thing. I ran to my favorite coffee shop, Collectivo, got myself coffee and a lemonade. Um, because for Pride this month, they had a pink lemonade called Pretty in Pink, and it had glitter in it. Um, edible glitter and it was really kind of cool. I don't know. It was lame. I mean, it was like funny because I was like, oh, my drink is extra sparkly. Um, but I will tell you the edible glitter was kind of bitter. Um, like it gave you a real bitter aftertaste, like a chemical aftertaste, but it was fun. I mean, you know, celebrating Pride Month. So I wanted to try something fun. Um, and I really like pink lemonade too. So that was like a plus. They had this weird coffee thing where it had cold brew and it had cold brew on it, and then it had um, lemonade and glitter in that, too. And it turned, like, this really cool blue color. Was half tempted to try that, but I figured I would probably hate lemonade and coffee mixed together. That just sounded gross. So I was like, nope, not going to try it. Even though I had both those drinks just separate. I got a vanilla latte, which is one of my favorites, and um, a vanilla latte iced, and then I got my pink, pretty and pink lemonade. I was going to show you guys, but honestly, I drank it. And then I drove to the next town over from the coffee shop and went to a French pastry shop and bread shop. They make bread there too. French bread is so good. Fresh out of the oven. Oh, I have gone there like right when it opens to get everything super hot. It's amazing. It's still amazing now. Um, it's still like crumbly and crusty and I got four chocolate croissants. I got a breath, um, a pecan roll and then a breakfast roll. Um, and they're not bread, like it's not bread, like, well, it's bread, but it's like croissant bread with cinnamon sugar on it. And then one's pecans and like, uh, like a frosting kind of like almost like the toaster strudel, like glaze stuff on that. It's really good. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go in, like, diabetic shock because the amount of sugar I have. Um, but, yeah, I'm still financially strapped, like I told you guys before, so hence my not very many hauls. I had a gift card, so I use that um, because I had a gift card from a really shitty experience with customer service uh, a while ago that I reported to the higher-ups in the company, and they were so kind to send me a gift card for $15.00. Um, and then that, like, sorry, we screwed up coupon, too. So, that was kind of nice of them. And I have, um, been just basically paying my bills, getting cats cat food, because when I go get my cats cat food, the one cat gets soft food, and literally the mushy food is about $40 a week. So I am spending $40 a week on cat food. That's just the mushy food. Um, I can get, like, a 32 pound bag of dry food and thank god um I got that not this past month but the month before for free because I bought so many bags of cat food it was like they have a deal where you buy like 12 bags you get one free so I was able to get that for free because normally that's $54 at least that was what it was um it's probably gone up now to almost $60 of for 32 ounce bag so with inflation that that makes a lot of stuff expensive so i haven't really had money i work i work retail i make minimum wage um well i make above minimum wage in the, the state i live in but it's not a living wage um i don't make much money and it's not like i'm gallivanting and spending it all the time i'm really honestly guys buckling down and trying to save money um but it's really hard because you know you need gas in your car you need food on your table. Um, my significant other is, I'm really appreciated for him because on the weekends he does like buy the groceries for the weekend. So I only have to feed myself during the week. Um, and I try to make meals that can I can eat pretty much all week long, even though I get really sick of the same crap that I eat every day. Um, cost effective eating that way. So I've been doing that. Um, and I really haven't been going anywhere because gas here is five dollars and nine cents where I live now um, It was up to 519. It dropped 10 cents. I don't know why but it's it's just ridiculous. Um, I'm really tired of inflation <laughs> um, But yeah, it's getting to the point where I, I don't have money to go out anywhere like ever. I'm a hermit um, So and I have a trip coming up in July that I need extra money for so I'm just really 
the next couple weeks going to buckle down with my spending um, because I already got all the books I need for my trip because I have like a bunch of series that I can bring with me to like read while I'm there because I tend to read a lot when I'm on my vacation. Um, we do a little sightseeing and I just want money to be able to spend on myself. Like I have a routine every morning. I would walk to the coffee shop where I'm staying. Um, it's a mile one way. I walk a mile every morning, get my coffee, walk a mile back. Um, sometimes I bring my backpack and I just go sit down by where the, um, they have a bunch of yachts and sailboats at the marina. So I'll sit on like a picnic table and watch all the yachts um, and everybody waking up for the morning before they take off on the lake and go sailing or whatever they're doing for the day, boating and jet skiing and all that stuff. So it's just really fun for me. Um, and yeah, that, that's about it. So let's get into this haul. We'll do, we'll, we'll do some of my stuff because my other stuff is kind of buried. So I did get some wallflowers and you guys know I bought a bunch of summer ones already so I don't really need any but these were kind of I smelled them and they were really good surprisingly and I didn't think I was gonna like them and I really do love them um it's champagne toast and fresh orange these are really good I got three of them I think I only got three of them because I was trying to like keep my spending down and then I was like oh I'll grab three and this one I didn't think I was gonna like to be perfectly honest with you but I really do kind of like it. It's Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. I will admit I like it way better than just straight up Strawberry Pound Cake. And what I like about this is it's, um, it just seems stronger. It seems more intense. So I got three of those and then I got three of the other one. I do think I want to get 10 of each of these, but that's it. And like I said, that's only if they go down on sale to like a dollar 25 or something or dollar 95 or some when it gets really cheap if it goes really cheap then I will buy more but otherwise probably not buying anymore um I did get some body care I bought orange and vanilla twist if you guys didn't know this is basically the same scent that they had at Christmas that um citrus swirl that's this um, I think it was called, I can't remember what it was called. It was in an orange bottle. It was like citrus swirl. But that's literally what this is. With maybe a hint of vanilla in it. That's all it is. So I got um, two of those. Because I honestly was running out of my citrus swirl. So I needed some. And now that this is in summer packaging, I feel like I can, I can wear it in summer. Because I'm weird, I like wear stuff seasonally. And then I got two bubblegum pops. Um, these are just basically the Pink Fairy Gumdrop in body care. So I got two of those. I got one of the Cotton Candy Clouds. I really wish they would bring Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds back. Um, but this one is a close second to what it is. It's a little bit different than the other scent notes, but it is... Sponge sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. I like this better than um, pink berry clouds. I fucking hate pink berry clouds um, because it has a fresh air note. And that fresh air note smells like Lysol to me. So I don't like it. And then, of course, I had to get a bubblegum pop shower gel because, you know me, I need, like, a set. And this smells like straight up bubblegum. I'm not going to lie. Um, it smells different than the spray. The spray just smells like pink fairy gum drop. This this smells like straight up gum. Um, and then my significant other, this is basically his haul. Well, it's, I bought it for him. He just doesn't know I'm getting it for him. Um, so his sisters better not tell him what I bought him. But this is his favorite scent of all time. He is really sad that they discontinued it. And it is Whitewater Rush. I bought him 10 of these. Um... And I forgot the men care had like a sale today. So I actually had to go back and return the 10 I had bought and then basically rebuy them and get refunded the money that um, I paid originally and then like, you know, get it a price adjusted so it would work out just because I really, really, really wanted um, to get my significant other his smells but I also wanted to save money because like I said money is tight um I, I had gift cards which took out a little bit of this total it wasn't outrageously scary and then um I also you know had a little money saved up that I tried to save that 
I really should have saved for gas, but I did fill up my tank. I did get my money for my haircut today and the tip, so I'm, I'm good. I just can't spend anything for the week, or if I do, I have to find change to get, like, stuff. And I don't eat at work. Um, I drink soda once in a while, so I might just find a cup that I can put soda in and keep it in my locker so then I have something to drink throughout the day. But yeah, that's my haul. Um, I will be having a thrift book um, store haul probably later on today, along with my other Bath and Body Works haul. But I wanted to get this up because I know I am starting to lose followers because you guys are like, hey, I'm here to see Bath and Body Works. Why are you not filming it? Um, but like that's why I figured I'd give you a life update on my last post because I didn't want you to guys think I was like forever gone with Bath and Body Works. You know me. I I say I'm not going to shop and then I shopped. But I have to be really careful with my money you now. Like really. I'm like dead serious. So I am really, really sad that I can't go crazy like I normally do. But I don't have the funds. I have to be able to feed my cats. My cats are like my kids, so if I can't feed them, I'm not going to go spend money on body care. So, yeah, so I hope you guys are all doing well. Love y'all. See you soon. Bye.